Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have an Apple Watch, there is a high chance you are not using its full potential. I have been using the Apple Watch since the original Series 0, and I'm still discovering new tricks with every watchOS update. In this video, I'm going to share with you 15 amazing tips and tricks, as well as some hidden features for Apple Watch. Are you ready to become an Apple Watch Pro user? If the answer is yes, this video is made for you. So, without further ado, let's get started. Not a lot of people know about this feature, but when you open the control center on your Apple Watch, then tap and hold the ping my iPhone icon, not only your iPhone will make the usual ping sound, but it will also start blinking the flashlight, so you'll be able to find it even faster. Talking about flashlight, on your Apple Watch in the control center, turn on the flashlight, tap on it and it will instantly activate the maximum brightness, then swipe right and your Apple Watch screen will start flashing to attract even more attention. Swipe right again and the flashlight will become red, it's better for your eyes. If you have AirPods, you can check their charging level in the control center right on your Apple Watch. To do that, access the control center and tap on the battery percentage. Turn the digital crown and check your AirPods battery percentage. This feature supports all AirPods models and even some Beats headphones. Siri on your Apple Watch, besides being a useless voice assistant, can also recognize music because it has a built-in Shazam feature. Just raise your wrist and ask Siri to identify the track. After a couple of seconds, you will get the name of the track. This feature was originally designed for people with physical disabilities, for people who have only one operational hand. But you can use it to operate your Apple Watch hands-free. Well, you still technically need at least one hand to wear your Apple Watch. Open Settings, tap Accessibility. Tap Assistive Touch and activate hand gestures. Raise your wrist and a blue ring around your screen will appear. It indicates that the Assistive Touch is on. Operate your Apple Watch with four default gestures. Move to the next item, pinch. Move back one item, double pinch. Tap an item, clench. Bring up the action menu, double clench. The action menu allows you to perform a number of system actions, such as scrolling, pressing the digital crown, open the control center and so on. Try it yourself. You can control your Apple Watch right from your iPhone. On your iPhone, go to Settings, Accessibility, Apple Watch Mirroring, activate it. Now you can operate your Apple Watch from the screen of your iPhone. You can even press the digital crown and home button. How cool is that? Do you know that your Apple Watch has a hidden Safari web browser? Thanks to my custom-made shortcut, you can access a real Safari web browser right on your wrist. First, install my shortcut on your iPhone and Apple Watch. The link will be provided in the description of this video. Then, simply launch this shortcut on your Apple Watch. Type your request and tap Search. Now you have a mini Safari web browser always available on your wrist. If you need to charge your Apple Watch very fast, go to Settings, Battery and turn off optimized battery charging until tomorrow. This will allow you to charge your Apple Watch from 0 to 100% in under 45 minutes. Don't worry, it will not damage your battery if you will do it once or twice per month. Sometimes fast charging can be useful if your watch is completely dead and you don't have much time to wait until it's fully charged. If you are using an always-on display on your Apple Watch, you might experience a battery drain. You can disable Wake on Wrist Rays to save some battery life. Go to Settings, Display and Brightness.
turn off wake on wrist raise. Now your always on display is on, but it will not wake the screen every time you raise your wrist. Just by changing this setting, you will increase your Apple Watch battery life from 10 to 15%. Apple Watch Control Center hides one interesting feature. Access the Control Center. Tap and hold the Silent Mode icon. Select one of three options – On, On for one hour, or On until tomorrow morning. This will allow you to customize the Silent Mode if you need it only for one hour. Apple Watch will turn it off after this period of time. It can be useful for all kind of meetings. Talking about meetings, if you are constantly running late, you can set the time shown on your Apple Watch to appear ahead of the actual time, but don't worry, your alarms, notifications, world time and timers will still match the actual real time. Open the settings app on your watch, then tap clock, tap plus zero minutes, turn the digital crown and choose how many minutes ahead you want your time to be displayed. Now you will never be late on your important meetings. When you are receiving an incoming call on your Apple Watch and for some reason you don't want to answer it on your wrist, you can press three dots and choose to answer it on your iPhone. By pressing on the digital crown, you can quickly silence any incoming call. You can also cover the screen of your Apple Watch with your palm and it will also silence any incoming call. Also, if you replied on the incoming call from your watch and for some reason you want to transfer it to your iPhone without ending the current conversation, you can do so. On your iPhone, just tap on the green bar. The phone call will be seamlessly transferred to your iPhone without interruption and your correspondent will not even notice any change. In case you are experiencing some issues with your Apple Watch, you may need to force restart it. It's the easiest troubleshoot option. Hold down the side button and the digital crown at the same time for at least 10 seconds Two hours later. until the Apple logo appears. Wait until the Apple Watch reboots. Now it should work fine. If you want to speed up your Apple Watch and make it load apps even faster, you can remove system animations. Go to Settings, Accessibility, turn on Reduce Motion. Not only your Apple Watch will start feeling more reactive, but it will also preserve its battery life. If you have an old Apple Watch, you can still get the magic double tap gesture to work on every unsupported Apple Watch models, like Series 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8. On your Apple Watch, go to Settings, Accessibility, scroll down and find Assistive Touch, turn it on. Go to Hands Gestures, you have four of them, Tap, Double Tap, Clench and Double Clench. Tap on the Double Tap gesture and scroll down. Here you will see a list of all available actions like open notifications, access control center, launch Siri, etc. I recommend disabling the single tap and single clan gestures because you can trigger them by accident and it's quite annoying. Finally, go back to assistive touch settings and select none as the activation gesture trigger. Also, turn off the visual signal. Enjoy the double tap gesture on your Apple Watch. Additionally, you can launch different shortcuts using the double tap gesture. Guys, that's all for today. If you found this video useful, check out my other videos as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you next time.